Hello guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cool text effect. We're going to be using Illustrator. You can do this in Photoshop, but it's a lot easier to do in Illustrator. So yeah, let's get into it. So first off, what you're going to do is you're going to make a new layer, so there's nothing on it, brand new. And I'm just going to use our type tool, which is right here. And I'm just going to click, and we're just going to type in whatever text we want. Okay, let's do it like that. And I actually think um, that in capitals is better for this one. So the, the font we're using is going to be called Sports World. And there'll be a link to download that in the description, so you guys can go download that uh, for this tutorial. Okay, so now we've done that, we've got this text here. We're just going to click on our foreground color, and we're going to change the color to an offset white. So what that in what lighter colors normally work better. So you can see the bright reds and the offset whites; they all look good. Okay, so now we've done this, we've got this offset white text here. We're going to press Command, Shift, and O. And what that does is that allows us to make the text into parts. So basically, if we wanted, we can edit all of these parts. But uh, yeah, we don't really need to. But yeah, that's basically just a side note. You can edit the, the points if you wanted to. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've got this um, this text here. We've got them editor editable paths. We're gonna make we're gonna unselect the text, so we're not selecting the text anymore. We're gonna go to our fill, and we're gonna go to a black, and we use our pen tool. And what we're gonna do with the pen tool is just gonna click across, and it's gonna make this um, this rectangle here, just so it covers half of the text um, that you have there. Okay, so now you're gonna now you've done that. You wanna highlight all of them, all of your layers, so the box and the text. You want to go to your shape builder tool, and you want to hold Alt, and you just want to click. What that basically does is it gets rid of the um, the box that isn't a part of the text. So now we just got these black boxes in the text and aren't around the text like it was before. Okay, so now we're just going to highlight each part of the text, and we just want to press Control G, and what that basically does is it groups them all. So now we can move them around and stuff like that. Okay, so now we've done that. We're going to lower the opacity. Uh, it works. It works better with different uh, different colors. So we're just gonna play around, see what looks good. I think we're gonna go with about thirteen. Yeah, that, that looks good. Okay. So now we've got this cool highlight effect on the text. And now what we're gonna do is gonna press. We're gonna click and select the the text, and we're gonna press Control C and Control F. What that basically does is it duplicates the text layer in the um in itself. So if we did Control C and Control V like you would normally do. It would duplicate it somewhere else, but we want it to be in itself, and yeah, so that's basically what, how you do that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the new layer we just made with the duplicate, and we're going to change the color to a darker color. So let's just go for a darker color. It must be of the same color. So okay, so now we've just gone done that. We've gone over the highlight, which isn't what we want. So we're going to right click and we go to arrange, and we're going to send to back. Okay, and then we're just going to use our arrow keys just to click downwards. And as you can see, we've got this cool depth effect on here as well. Uh, we can change the color. We can make it a bit darker if we want. And yeah, so just play around with that. See what looks good. See what looks. Um, see which way looks best for you. And obviously, different text, different colors will look different. And yeah. Okay, so now we've done that. We've got this cool highlight effect. And now we want to get this dark stroke around the whole entire text. So to do that, we want to select our both of our um, our text layers, not the highlights, and press Control C and Control F. Okay, so now we've done that. Uh, we can just press Control G, and what that does is we just grouped this um, this text basically. So yeah, and the one we just grouped doesn't have the highlights. So now we've done that. We're going to go to our Appearance tab, which is right here. You can just go to Window Appearance if you don't have that. Let's just open it again and just click that. And then it'll appear, and it's going to go to our stroke, and we just want to increase the stroke to a low, to like about eight. Doesn't really matter. It look like I said before, different sizes will look better on different things. Okay, so now we've done that. We're going to select the stroke that we have, and we're going to go to arrange and center back. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. Uh, that's how you do that nice effect. Um, so yeah, so you do this tutorial, guys. I really hope you found it helpful. If you did. Leave a like if you watch my other videos and you enjoy them as well. Then leave and then subscribe. And then yeah. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.